still on medication and I have some follow-ups with endocrinologists and cardiologists and I'll let you know how those go once I make appointments. I want to talk about the biggest, in my opinion, one of the biggest threats moving forward in this world. And that's moral relativism. And moral relativism, moral relativism, relativism, hello, Sassy, by definition is, again, an offshoot of Aleister Crowley's do what thou wilt or do what makes you happy or as long as it doesn't hurt me, it's not my problem. As long as it doesn't affect me, it's not my problem. As long as I'm not hurting anybody, I do what I want. And justifications and so on and so forth. This is a good dynamic barbecue sauce, and I'm sure you'll have some very good input very soon. But I want to talk specifically about what, who I've known for a few years, I've known about, I've never met him is Vincent Goodrum. He's up, he lives up in the area where Meow Man lives in South Carolina. He's very articulate, but he's a little off. And I just need to point out a few things in his behaviors, as he pointed out a few in mine which I greatly appreciate. First of all, he did a video on me recently and he spoke about, you know, in jest, he called me a dirty hog, this and that. And, you know, I did live in a very unclean uh, apartment over two years ago. I've never reverted to that, but I'm a very, very clean guy, as you can see. I don't have any Uh, you know complaints or anything like that as far as being dirty or whatever but Vince Goodrum said something and you guys can all look back it, he was doing a a, sp a speech on Leo and longevity about two weeks ago. Actually, he did it right before WrestleMania. So that was what, a week before Easter? And he said something at the six minute, 45 second mark that was very, very, he said it very nonchalantly in a normal kind of way, like it was justified. And it, it, Gave me chills, really. And, Vince, I'm here to tell you what you said about me, you know, homosexuality, this and that. I consider myself a pervert. I've done that in the past. I haven't done anything like that in October. And I've went off any kind of substances, including caffeine, since November. But you referred to me as homosexual. And I never thought of myself as such. I do consider myself a sinner. And I consider myself a porn addict and a pervert and a cookie cutter at times, which are things I fight against. But what you said, and I don't know if I want to repeat it here. I'm one of the maniacs to say it on a live and look it up. What you said disturbed me because you had made it sound like that's perfectly okay for me to have this. And whether you think it's okay, it's not okay. And the difference between me and you is I appreciate when you bring up faults and sins of mine so I can correct them. However, 
you, Vince, not only are you a cookie cutter and probably, uh, no, it's definitely a porn addict, you seem to be a moral relativist. You seem to think that's, that's normal. So call me a pervert, call me an abomination, call me a sinner, because I am. But I'm working on that. But Vince, I care about your soul as well as your, your body. I really do. I'm not, you know, all jokes aside. But that should not be thought of as, a, as just a normal thing. And you didn't say it which I give you credit for, you identified that, but, you know, what message are you trying to convey? Are you over that? I would appreciate a response. And if you want to go do a Zoom one-on-one -on -one with me, let's do it, because I care about you. I care about your soul, so. And, you know, I got a lot of people, a lot of maniacs DMing me saying, oh, Vince is just a small fry, this and that. Hey, I look at quality over quantity. <coughs> and you're an older guy, you know, probably almost as old as me. And you should be very clean cut and articulate. And that's why, you know, like you, to be honest. So. Just rethink that, that's all rethink that philosophy or hey you may have thought done it already but at least let the younger generation and everyone else know your true stance on it so ahsr 32 saw a skinny cookie cutter in a tie-dyed shirt on a skateboard with a tattoo <laughs> sleeve he told him, tattoo some muscle on your body, boy, in honor of Lenny. I'm proud of you. Aristophanes of Athens and Vince is a proud gay guy. Huh? Shh. White Dom, what causes night sweats? Are you on taking Trenbolone? Maybe you have fluctuations in blood sugar. Or maybe you have a thyroid dysfunction. If you're not, if you don't have a blood sugar problem or you're not on trend, maybe you want to go see an endocrinologist. You might have a little thyroid malfunction. Good evening, Johnny. No, guys, and I've, I've been back to the gym. I'm going to attempt to go tomorrow. But what do I think about the new pregnant man emoji? I didn't see it yet. Toza says, can I explain to the maniacs what happened when, on Halloween party with Jay? Uh, I dressed up as a girl. And I had fishnet pantyhose on. Jay, Jason dressed up as, I think, Tony Montana. And there was a lot of older people at Jane's house. And Jay and Brad and Brad's girlfriend at the time. Not the one now, but the other one she... They brought Jay over. He had a O.J. Simpson USC collegiate football shirt on a ball cap, and he was pretty inebriated. And he had a fake knife, plastic, plastic knife, and he was pretty pumped up. And he was pretty ignorant at the party, to tell you the truth, very foul language and such. But I think he bumped into me once or twice, and I said, hey, let's go outside. And, you know, I wasn't inebriated. But I just said, hey, let's go outside. That's all. No big deal. Yeah. 
Yes, Jane tried to have a traditional Halloween party as a kid, but, you know, everybody there was a senior citizen, and it just wasn't happening. Eric Wassert's eating ice cream and watching porn. Not good, not good. When you're done, you're going to feel a little off. I haven't spoken to Jane in a while. But again, all the maniacs, thanks for the DMs. Thanks for the text messages. Thanks for the phone calls. Robzilla, thank you for the phone call and your offer to come by. But I'm out of the hospital now. And thanks again, Prince Andrew, Big Lou. And hopefully I can take Lou up in his offer of those ribs one of these days. Dan L. ran across an old friend. He quit the cigs and booze. He told his friend he only need water, rest, and sun. And yeah, that's all you really need. I'm thinking of things doing differently, more efficiently in my comeback here. But yes, bones and the necro zoo. Maniacs are not only physically strong, they're more importantly mentally strong. Killmaster, it is true. Training for a fight. You should be in fighting shape all the time, ready to go. I, I used to do testicle tanning. I used to tan naked in my backyard when I lived over in Delray. I, I was able to do it because I was, had fences and stuff. Thank you, Orthodox 706. Where does a young man meet a traditional woman? Anywhere. In the grocery store, the workplace, the college campus, the gym, Anywhere, anywhere's fair game, anywhere's fair game. You could look at a girl and look and see if they have a wedding ring or you could just talk. Like I went and did some shopping earlier at Publix, which is a supermarket. Yes, Yard Play McBride. She was a light skinned Haitian girl with a very awesome body, incredible. And she was on the phone and I walked by her. I gave her a smile and she says, gave me a big smile said thank you Dan Fernando says shout out to the, the Armenians on their 100th anniversary of the Armenian genocide at the strip club yes I think the guy's wife did peek at me through the window while I was tanning but she really didn't care I was uh, 31 when I got married. Good you liked it. the Hidden Bowden's finished Hercules Misfits. Advice on handling muscle spasms, yes. Relax, take a deep breath, hydrate, eat food and have electrolytes. Whoa. Yes, you should live in a clean room. You shouldn't have excess clutter either. There's no reason for it these days with computers. You don't need so many books. Andrew's doing great. Thank you. Thank you, George Huerta. That's all you can do. The more you push through the fatigue, George, the harder your muscles are going to look. You got to keep training as heavy as you can while you're dying. You got to fight to keep that strength, but you also not ha try not to get injured. Kaizen Productions, there's an all out war on masculinity and they will do anything to achieve that goal. 
Hercules Misfits said his first marriage was the worst mistake he ever made. It is most cases today. You have to be very, very careful. And who says you have to get married? Well, what good is a marriage certificate these days? Sassy Savage Goddess is, she does have a thing for Prince Andrew. James Waits, 225 for 10 is impressive, but it's impressive when you can increase it, so. Advice for Johnny Depp. Yes, quit being a cookie cutter. Get rid of the piercings and the ponytails. Hercules Misfits, yes, I change my ways on a lot of things. I don't use hatred or de degradation to, to help me train harder. I believe it's just about flipping the switch now, so I definitely moved on from that, Hercules. Kaizen Productions sums it up. There's an all-out war against masculinity. We're all on the front line. Fix your bayonets in charge. Don't apologize for it. And don't try to justify it. Just be it. Be a man. And that's that. In my opinion, what's a decent incline bench? 315 for six. How often do you whiten your teeth? Now, maybe once a month. Yes, I do miss the piss square, but you can use anything for a piss square. Bronx and the Necro Zoo termed it heterophobia. Calling in, you need to quit cigarettes. Any tips? Quit cold turkey and maybe chew a little nicotine, but keep cutting it out, cutting it down, cutting it down, cutting it down. Just look at how much this stuff costs you, too. Yuck. Eric, I might have a sip of soda, but not much. They say everybody eats about 20 bugs in their lifetime or more, so. Eddie Steady, your friends say you're racist. Those aren't friends. Those are cookie cutters. Thoughts on the Italian party slogan, fascist party being who cares in English. Yes, that's, that's a good way to live as far as being a cookie cutter. Who cares? When they come in with their earrings and their tattoos, just say, who cares? Are there ridiculous clothes or cars? Say, who cares? And then show them your old Toyota Corolla that's 30 years old that gets you where you want to go. Adam Parks says I should be ashamed of myself because people are dying of aggressive cancer, but I continue killing myself by choice. Yeah, I'm killing myself. I, I look like it, don't I? Big Daddy, the weather's been perfect for now, but soon there's going to be an iron curtain of humidity that's going to make you sweat and not be able to breathe and very uncomfortable and soaking wet wherever you go, so... Hey, that's Florida. And if the humidity doesn't make you sweat, the thunderstorms make you wet, the thunderstorms will. That's a good point about Johnny Depp. Do you know Brad's doctor, Dr. Sperduto, actually went to high school with Johnny Depp? That is a fact. Yes, we are behind an iron curtain in America. Yes, it's starting to get that way. Yes, Kaizen Productions. The cookie cutters don't like good being out in the humidity. But I used to purposely go out and do cardio, lay in the sun. Says 
sassy savage goddess softens me up in the right ways, the ways I need, and I thank her for it. George asks, how am I feeling? I'm feeling better. That's what I say. He went to high school with Johnny Depp. Who cares? Tell Brad that. He seems so impressed by that fact. <laughs> wow, Hercules Misfits took all four of his dogs to walk on the edge of San Francisco Bay. Did you ever run into Michael Savage? Thank you, J-Rod. Back home. But if this happens again, I'll be back in the hospital, get the water sucked out. But I'll do everything I can not to do that. Revish Chino, I hope to meet you too. Anthony Muro, it's good your friends call you a cookie cutter. They want you to recognize and manage those behaviors. That's right, all of us are gonna get stronger, physically and spiritually. Jake Z, I was in the hospital for extreme water retention where I couldn't breathe. Whoa, this is an interesting fact on Brad. AHRS32 says, he once heard Brad say, he's the bomb when referencing some basketball player. He's the bomb. Uh-oh. Evan Aren, good luck on that bowel obstruction. That sounds pretty painful. Ugh. B, I don't use caffeine since October. Thank you, Jake Z. Alive, healthy, and with the maniacs, where else would I want to be in life? Calling in, that's good. A little bit high in fat, but you know what? We're starting to realize that these pre and post drinks may not be all they're cracked up to be. Here, this is for your dog. Woof, woof. Brad said that Connie West's first album was dope. Oh my gosh. Hercules Misfits, get this, is having homemade spaghetti and meatballs, 93% lean grass fed beef for dinner. Tons of protein. Sounds delicious. How many pull ups are freak territory? Well, if you're over 200 pounds, 15 is freak territory. If you're over 300 pounds, about five to 10, I consider freak territory. What's my favorite cut of beef now? Probably flank steak. When was the last time I did a pit stop? I can't remember, maybe October, maybe. Yes, yeah, so Jeremy, I fasted 24 hours this, this past year. In 2021, it worked pretty good. Yes, cold. See, the hospital's not bad when you need a little break. Physically, mentally, detox from chemicals. Place where you can bring your phone and just watch the Big Lenny lives. Do a get a cameo from Big Lenny and many other great educational, inspirational material on the internet. And we have to fight censorship all the way. Well, I can't wait for Hamburg to come by. Yes, cholesterol is very important. I think Sassy Savage Goddess raises testosterone for sure. Just one side of her, it does to me. Jake predicts a fake alien invasion within the next five years. 
You know, there's something to that, Jake, something to what you said. That's very possible. Thoughts on Joe Rogan claiming he could beat up 300 guys with his black belts. Well, let's see it, Joe. Joe, you're all talk. You talk the talk, but do you walk the walk, Joe? AHRS32 disagrees that TJ's the biggest cookie cutter. He thinks Nate's the biggest cookie cutter. The way he wears his cap backward and says, my bad, and what's popping? You got a point. Sassy Savage God is eating hamburger. Perfect protein, Sassy. Yes, I will meet the Sassy Savage God pretty soon. I know I will. Yes, Eddie Steady, I can come over for dinner. I think Dan Severn was a great fighter. A lousy pro wrestler, but a great tough guy. Learn a lot from Dan. <laughs> At least Nate doesn't try to be a fake badass. <laughs> That's true. I haven't been to a Catholic confessional since 1986. How much did Alzado lift? He was rumored to bench in the four high fours. He would squat 500 for reps, deadlifted the same. He's strong. Yeah, I'd love to come to the Tao, Tao MPC show. That'd be nice, Hercules Misfits. Minecraft Mike, give me a DM. Is it true I tried to get Rob to smoke crack? Jokingly in a way, but it was very it wasn't serious. And I didn't smoke it, I just inhaled it, so it was just a joke. Yeah, check out the movie Ernest Goes to Camp. Alzado's in it. DM my Instagram, Minecraft Mike. Thoughts on Rocky Marciano, one of the toughest, best conditioned fighters that ever lived. Do I think he'd beat Ali? Probably not, but he'd definitely give him hell. I don't think much of the Chinese Olympic lifters. Thank you, Paul. I want to shout out the new Beagle puppy, Maggie. She's a freak. Sounds cute. Yes, I heard about that, Hercules. I also heard that the Barbarian brothers would ask each other to punch each other in the face before their heavy sets to psych them up. And Alzado punched one of them and knocked them out. But yeah, that was a true story. I guess Alzada went out of town, they let him use the house, and it was trashed. And he was going to kill him. So they got kicked out of gold, so Al I wouldn't find him, at least till he cooled down a bit. So Roy's versus Creatin, all the same? Absolutely, absolutely not. Creatin is what makes ATP in the muscle, one of the things. So... It's a component of muscle. Steroids are a different hormone that have many, many effects. What do I think of Ken Pateria? Ken Pateria, an old school tough guy. Very strong. Uh, very entertaining wrestler. One of my favorites. Why do old men like Arnold and Stern become woke cookie cutters? Probably testosterone levels lowering and being around those types of people. Day seven on the trend acetate, Hercules. Are you doing that every day? Yeah, be careful, but let me know if you're doing that every day. How many milligrams, Hercules? Bruno 
my San Martino claim natural status, but I doubt it. Fifty milligrams every other day. Well, if you can take that at all, that's good. Nothing wrong with interjecting it, provided you can handle it. Bob Hardcore Hawley. Yeah, he was in good shape, still is. Yeah, Hercules, it makes you another person. But it's good to take it out on the weights, that's for sure. Thank you, AHRS Breen. Ron DeSantis bullies the bullies. He seeks them out, and he takes care of them. AEW, WWE, probably AEW, because of their affiliation with the modern-day Winston Churchill. Thoughts on injectable D-ball? From what I hear, I've never taken it, but it's not as good as the oral. California doesn't want to take notes on how to do things correctly. Hercules, they're so warped. The saddest case I've seen of a non-cookie cutter becoming a cookie cutter? That's a good question. Very good question. Do you think PEDs are for cookie cutters? Yes, cookie cutters do use them. Greatest wrestlers of all time, Greg Gagne and Jumpin' Jim Brunzel. I don't know about that. Thoughts on gas-powered vehicles being banned by 2030? Why? What idiot would make that rule? Butter and tribulus for high testosterone? I think so. You know what, Hercules? The same thing where I'm at. No white people. Everybody's speaking Spanish. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a dad. I don't know what country you live in anymore, Hercules. It's not that in and of itself. It's just you feel like you just feel like you're not home anymore. It's a culture shock. You have nothing against it, but you're just like, what's going on here? I know what you mean. Cocaine to drop weight before a show. Yeah, you'll drop muscle. Cocaine gives you a wishy-washy feel. Yes, Big Daddy, I used tons of Dental quality vets. The tea Tokyo, though, was horrible. They would that would leave welts, but Bravel, you remember that? Use many of that. Yes, OG Ghost. Cocaine is the most falsely overhyped drug there is. Actually, when you're on it, it's overhyped. Kaizen Production says it all. The mining to get chemicals to make batteries for electric cars are toxic. And it's destroyed. It's not environmental friendly. So what is, what's the agenda? Thank you, Bean Smasher, for your contributions in many ways to these lives and to the maniacs around the world. Cocaine and hookers, very overrated. Best treatment for shin splints? Rest or orthotics? I've done Trestalone, Magnus. I'll get a lot of water attention from it, a lot of thighs. Have fun, Hercules misfits. Get some good sleep. Yes, I had Joe Weider dumbbell, adjustable dumbbell bars. Uh, they were good. They were spin lock collars. But not much else as far as Weider equipment because we had 
when I lived in Pennsylvania, we had Pitt Barbell, which is a local equipment manufacturer. They had good stuff. They supply, supplied a lot of gems. They supplied the Pitt Panthers and Steelers way back in the 70s and 80s. Barbecue sauces Mike Tyson was spotting was spotted holding a book by Thomas Sewell. And now the left is attacking them. Yes, they are. They're very paranoid. DNP had York barbell concrete filled plastic weights. Better than the sand. Joe, enjoy your midnight feast in England. YouTubers 15 and wants to start gear. Where do you find it? Ask ask YouTube. Google it. But my suggestions, say I stay on Anavar. What would I do if I earned 100000 a year? Invest. Buy the best food available. Probably have a very, very inexpensive used car. And definitely step up uh, having a child and possibly traveling more for the maniacs and investing more in a, in a cameraman and higher quality videos for sure. When are you going to meet with Jay? I think I'll meet with him before the year's out. Cold Sea lifted rocks and Mexicans before he lifted weights. That says a lot, Cold Sea. What's for dinner? Chicken, which is unusual. So, getting back to the main point, moral relativism is the most dangerous thing. There's going to be euthanization when we get old, pulling the plugs on us because society doesn't want to pay for us anymore. And the young want to have all the money and they're fun. They don't want to take care of you. Charlie Conway says moral absolutism. Thank you, sir. That is the only way. I don't watch any TV. I don't have a television. I don't even watch Christine anymore. If I do, it has to be on the Internet, which thankfully all her stuff is. So taking a day off flank steak and besides I'm not in the gym yet so I really didn't make my comeback so I'll just have something different Mark McGinnis says fascism equals moral clarity it certainly does did psycho we social says did getting arrested humiliate you ah uh, yes it did it did Best PED for old women with osteoporosis? Definitely Anavar. Am I at 5508 Priscilla Lane? Never heard of it. Daddy says I should treat myself to a tan, tan, tan. I did that enough. Elaborate on this moral absolutism. Yes, moral absolutism is... There are certain absolutes and laws, Ten Commandments being one of them. They're not suggestions, they're laws. And they were, I believe they were made forth by a creator to be able to serve him better and to live our best life. Water check right here, Eddie Steady. Where's the hospital lives of our shins? They want me to make an appointment with a wound care specialist they couldn't have, they didn't have anybody do it at this hospital for whatever reason i don't i don't know sure had plenty of time i could have done it and plenty of staff could have done it but they didn't so even serial killers seem to know what's moral but they do it anyway yes that's true that is true. 
thoughts on the price of college and student debt? It's ridiculous. If all you need is that paper after paying all that money to be able to get some career, you've missed the boat. Knowledge is out there. It's on the phone. It's on the computer, the books. There's people you could speak to. There's forums you can get on and learn. Yes, Charlie Conway, that sums up moral relativism. Smack one in the mouth. Then when they say, ah, oh, why'd you do that? You say, I perceive that as the right thing to do during this conversation. That's a brilliant point, Charlie Conway. Mike T is bigger than Mike Tyson now. Built to laugh. Congratulations. Now go out and make nine figures. Cool hipster robot says college is a cookie cutter factory. Yes, it is. Hello, Leonard Virtue. Serial killers caused by high estrogen? Could be. I believe it's sugar has a big thing to do with it. The soda mind altering substances. So does porn. So does improper uh, parenting. Yes, I am feeling better. Do I remember the VHS bootleg concert days? Yes, I do. Although I never went to concerts. <laughs> Yes, I think this Marabello Fitness, I'm glad to see he's going out and trying different peptides to help with that. Maybe he'll be onto something. Yes, Charlie Conway, I've watched Faces of Death, the original VHS. OG Ghost, yes. Concerts are the purest form of idolatry. Honestly, I don't think I've ever went to one, so. BMX 687, I'm glad you found this message. And thanks for the encouragement from you and from many other maniacs. And that's all that matters. What does meth taste like? I don't know. I think I've take it, taken it once. I don't remember. Thank you, Joe. Cool hipster robot has a good point. Cookie cutters are obsessed with being seen. Being seen. I'd like to have a barbecue at Brad's house next week for Prince's birthday. We'll see. Charlie Conway, your brilliance is outstanding tonight. Listen to this, maniacs. Charlie Conway says, he who is only an athlete is too crude and too vulgar and too much of a savage. He who is a scholar, who is a scholar only is too soft or effeminate. The ideal citizen is the scholar athlete, the man of thought and the man of action. Thank you, bounce those backs. Yeah, whatever I have of them, but get back on the weight soon. Thank you, Charlie Conway. Is 12 hours sleep good for health? Uh, yes. If, you know, you sleep eight, maybe get up, pee, come back. But if you need, if you're sleeping, you need it. Now, obviously, there's outside things you have to do in life, but look at it this way. If you don't have to get up and earn money or you have an appointment at a gym or whatever, sleep. If it's that choice between that and doing a cooker, cookie cutter activity, 
that you don't need to do, sleep. Always sleep, sleep, sleep. REM sleep, as Eddie Steady points out. What you've said, Charlie Conway, on this live today echoes through eternity. And those are fantastic, fantastic points that every young person should be reminded of on a daily basis. That needs to be some of the things you write down and put on your refrigerator. Bulletin board, bulletin board material, but for yourself. What do they feed you at the hospital? Unfortunately, a majority of simple carbohydrates. What do I think about physical education in schools? I'm worried I'll get rid of it. I don't know. Florida's good. They actually have weight training as a uh, required course. Joe, it's good to have weird dreams. I had plenty the last two days. Dan P. wakes up screaming at least twice a week. That is a sign that something you need to address. Mr. G and Romano think they're the moral authority. They do act like that, unfortunately. So it's on James, Dennis James said he would sleep and stay in bed all day between meals in the gym. Hey, if you're a full-time professional bodybuilder, that's what you should be doing. That's what your sponsors pay you to do. That's how you're going to win Mr. Olympia. That's what Jake Cutler did. Not going out and partying, but going to sleep. <clears throat> good to hear, Rob, and good to hear you, a free thinker, and you suffered because of not being a cookie cutter. It says in the Bible, blessed are the persecuted. I like to say a blessed are the non cookie cutters who are persecuted. Yes, Andrew Kalora has great motivational speeches and rituals he does before training. We used to work on them together. It's fantastic. Thoughts on the coming food shortage? I hope not. How much did I sleep when I was working back at the hospital? I would say anywhere from six to eight hours. Uh, sometimes I just couldn't get enough sleep and made it up for it the next day. Or when I was on Fenibut, I didn't seem to need as much sleep. Yes, Jimmy the Bull was impressive way back in the day. Podcast will be back, I'm sure. Yes, if the woke schools would let me, I'd love to do a motivational speech. No, Robert Lee, I'll, I'm going to check out hibiscus tea for that. Christopher Orr, how are you? Great dinner that night. Great mess. I hope you guys are doing well and hope to see you soon. I know you had plans for coming down here. I'd like to see that for sure. But you're a great couple. And I really felt like family with the both of you. Thank you, Christopher. Thoughts on Big Ramy? I hope he comes in even sharper and shuts up the critics. YouTuber says, are you a convicted felon now? Not that I know of. Thoughts on David Goggins, a tremendous motivational source. Good material to watch. Hey, P. De La Rosa. No, I never had beef with Dale Chance. I don't think my father ever saw Hercules in New York. He wasn't much. He watched some movies, not much. If I could choose one bodybuilder to look like, who would it be? 
a six foot three inch big Rami, harder. Thoughts on Jordan Peterson. Great psych philosopher, good common sense guy. Is not afraid to talk about his personal issues so others can learn. Yes, I'm not into the ultra marathon running. I don't know what happened to Coth Andrew. That's a good question. Yes, I'm very happy right now to mix. I'm with the maniacs. Couldn't be happier. Yeah, Freddie, I'll call my dad once I get his number and find out a little more. Yes, I watched Ultimate Warrior's motivational speeches. Am I on test right now? There's some in my system. Not much. Do I sell merch? Yes, Delray Misfits gear. Also, book a cameo with Big Lenny on cameo.com. Yes, I've watched Ronnie Coleman's YouTube channel. Thoughts on rappers? Cookie cutter. Am I going back on trend? No foreseeable time in the future. That's for sure. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, OG Ghost says, is a prime example of everything wrong in America with the op opposite sexes. Yes, I encourage everyone to watch some of that drama and learn from their mistakes. Thank you, cool hipster robot. I can't wait to do a cameo for you. They last forever. BMX 687, what goes directly to me are the Cameos, book a cameo, biglenny.com. Eddie Steady, I applaud you and your noble goal of doing research and experimentation. I've had a calcium artery score done last year, and I think it was fine. When was the last time I got baby birded? Years, honestly. No, I talked, Rob Zilla texted me and he went to come see me and he's doing fine, thank you. I saw my sister last weekend, Easter weekend. She's doing fine. Thoughts on eating bugs for protein? If, if that's all you have, yeah, I wouldn't do it, but if that's all you have, you have to stay alive. When's Brad's birthday? I believe it's in November. Most ever bench press, 501 in the gym. Touch and go. Am I still gonna fight Mr. G after the price is right? Any plans to transition to a woman? God, I hope not, absolutely not. What benefit would that do society? I believe Will still has a body shop in Delray Beach, Rob. Yes, a family reunion would be great. Right, why eat chicken when cows still exist? Well, they gave me oxygen, OG Ghost, but turns out it wasn't as good as the CPAP. Is Brad a swinger? Could be. Thoughts on statins. I've never taken them, never will, hopefully. Yes, Mr. G does exhibit some of the characteristics of Joe Biden. If I met Lucy from Backpage recently, nobody from Backpage. Yes, I remember that kid that called me a boy at the pool. He's probably a young man now. And I feel bad for him. No parental guidance, no discipline. Jason could have won a local show, but... Leather Daddy Brad does have a lot of leather up there. I'll tell you what, he gets a lot of it all the time.
Jay Masters is live on YouTube now. We'll, 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 I'll go five more minutes now so we can go watch it. Jason's chest was lacking. Yeah, he was too much worried about how much he could bench. The worst thing for chest development. Lenny, where is my intensity? Mike Hawk says. When I get back in the gym. Mike Paul. Can I physically compete in a real fight? Sure, why not? Thank you, Johnny Phonics. Yes, sir. We all need the discipline that says Rob and routine that Jim provides us. Cool hipster rubber. Thank you. We're all with Christ, whether we want to be or not. Yes, I'm doing Jay's live as soon as we're done. Four minutes. I'm stable at the moment, but not for not for too long. Thoughts on more place, more dates. Good information. I'm glad he's out there. Best way to prevent a heart attack or stroke? Simple. Get as much REM sleep as you can. Make sure you stay well hydrated. Make sure you're eating correctly. Make sure you have spirituality and you don't worry because worry comes from fear, which comes from non-belief, which comes from hate. And make sure you're training and being loving one another. Nick Walker can definitely be in the top three of the Mr. Olympia this year. Absolutely he can. OG goes, what's kept me alive? My water drinking and getting big early. What music did Meowman listen to back in the day? Pantera, Hatebreed, some of the death metal. My thoughts on the economy. It's almost a well-planned event. You need leadership in the private sector to improve economy. And we had a president like that. So hopefully in a couple short years, he can get another four years in. Spring water, drinking water. I'm mostly drinking water, not spring water. I think it's a selling point. Thank you, Big Daddy. I'll see you soon. Freddie Erickson, I will be having a kid. Yes, I hope DeSantis is a vice president with Trump, but if not, it may not be good to split the ticket. So Republicans better use that wisely. I suggest DeSantis run for run as vice president. He's a young guy, he's younger than me. That's only four years as vice president. Then he can try for eight years. And remember, we know what's right or wrong. It's not what we think. There's power greater than us. We are not the be end or end all, not even close. So remember that. And I implore you, think before you act. Think before you hate. And we will all stand before our creator sooner than we think. As Cool Hipster Robot says, true strength comes from above. 
Thank you. Good night.